a quick update on one of my previous projects. You can remember this one by the video number 22. Initially this transceiver covered 3 HF bands and now it covers 8 HF bands. In order to achieve this, I replaced the bandpass filters. Now this transceiver has 8 separate bandpass filters. I also replaced the low pass filters and uh, this time I choose elliptic filters. The advantage of elliptic filters is a very fast transfer from the pass band to the stop band, which allowed me to use only 4 filters in this project. I also made some changes to the front panel. I rearranged these buttons. Uh, the spot button is gone because it was not very useful. Instead of a single band uh, button, which was here, now I have two buttons, next and pref. And I can switch the bands like this, forward and backward. There are several new screens in the keyer mode. Initially, one could only change the keyer speed and that's it. But now there are several new screens that can be switched with next and pref buttons. In safe mode, we can record a CW message, uh, which is entered with a key. The lock button has an alternative function in this mode, as is said by uh, this hint message. If we want to record a message, we have to press lock. Now the recording is in progress. And if I want to save the message, I have to press lock again, but I don't want to do it uh, this time because it will override the message I recorded previously. So instead I press keyer. And if I press keyer again, I exit the keyer mode. This is consistent with the rest of the interface. If you press fast, pressing fast again, abort the action. If you press lock, Pressing lock again, abort the action. Similarly for clar. And the same works in keyer mode. Pr pressing keyer again works as uh, one step back or as uh, abort of the current action. So if I want to play, uh, not to transmit, but to play the saved message, I have to switch to the play screen not to be confused with transmit and to play the saved message I have to press lock the playback can be aborted by pressing any button or a key pedal. So, and if we switch to the transmit screen, exit the keyer mode, the last used screen is uh, remembered by the transceiver, and if I enter keyer mode again, we are back to the latest used screen. And even if I turn the transceiver off, and turn it on again. If I enter here mode, we are back to the uh, transmit screen. This allows to record a CQ message and then transmit it by pressing here lock, here lock, and the message will be transmitted. I think I can demonstrate this by. Uh, changing the frequency somewhere where I will not uh, where I will not uh, interfere with anyone and here look okay. 
and the message was transmitted and I aborted it by pressing the key pedal. That's all. Questions and comments are most welcomed. Thank you for watching and 73s.